So the first step in making an ego column is to prepare the bottles. And so we started with three two liter soda bottles that have been cleaned out. And from the first one, we cut just the bottom portion off. Um, for the second one, just the top portion was cut off. And then for the third one, the top and the bottom are both cut off. So next I labeled each of the three bottles with a wax pencil. Um, a for aquarium, C for connector, and T for terrarium. And I took the bottom from the terrarium bottle and I just punctured three holes in it. Once you're sure that those pieces will fit together, you'll take them back apart to start assembling your eco column. So the first part that we're gonna do is the T column and you wanna take a piece of screen or mesh and put it over the mouth of the bottle and secure it tightly with a rubber band. And you can put it um, into a plastic cup like this as we prepare to, um, to fill it. So now we're going to assemble the terrarium um, layer of the eco column. And what I've done is I've actually labeled on the outside um, where I'm going to plant various seeds. So we have mustard, alfalfa, um, grass, and then you can have like an area where you put like a rock or some dead plant material to see what happens there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna put in there is we have one cup of gravel and these are just, this is just aquarium gravel. Let that settle into the bottom there. And then on top of that, and you wanna be careful um, to not, you wanna make this so that it doesn't mix too much. Like the, the point is to have it in layers. So you just wanna make sure that it stays layered. So two cups of our soil, which I already have prepared here. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit there. Okay, so now, like I said, we've, got those four different areas planned out. And if you want to just sort of make sure that you, you want to mark it off with a toothpick there so you can kind of see where you're going, um, that's how we're going to plant our seeds. And you don't have to plant, like, it, they don't have to be buried. You can kind of just sprinkle them there and move a little bit of soil over them. So the first one I'm going to do is here I have some alfalfa. And sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. So. Bear with me. All right, so my alfalfa I have over in this area here. Actually, maybe I can just... And I spilled them. Okay. Okay, right in there, cover them up. All right, and then my grass seed. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this one-handed, uh, which I had right over here in this area. I'm actually gonna just press down on them and then I'll put one more little sprinkle of soil over the top. I think that would do a better job of that. And then in the third area where we're actually gonna plant stuff, that's gonna be our mustard seeds. Which are these little guys here. And again, I'm just gonna kinda press down on them and sprinkle one last little bit of soil over the top. And then in that fourth area, we'll just stick a rock there. Okay, I'm gonna switch angles because uh, from the top down, it's a little hard for me to do this with just one hand. So um, the for the next part, we're gonna build the aquarium section of the eco column. And um, it involves some live creatures and um, plants and water. So I wanna just make sure I'm hands-free. So the first thing you're gonna do is take another um, big scoop of our corn and dump it into the bottom there. Um, you can do the water first, but for this next part, I'm actually going to put the first plant in because I want to um, kind of get it nestled down into the gravel before I add the water. And so um, this next plant, this is called Elodea. And I'm just gonna grab it by, like the root is about here. So I'm gonna just kind of 
put that down into the gravel so, so that it will stay a little anchored. And I'm gonna put a second one as well. Let's get a nice, nice big one here. All right. Same thing, I'm just gonna anchor it down into the bottom a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my water. And we're gonna add just gently so that we don't disturb that plant that we just put in there. Uh, and we wanna make sure we have some room from the top so that our connector tube can go in there and doesn't really get in the way of anything. So that's probably good. Okay, and you can see that that plant is anchored and kind of hanging out in there. Um, next, I'm going to add some duckweed, which is another aquatic plant. And I'm gonna put this in there with a spoon, it looks like that. You've probably seen this kind of like float on top of things like ponds and stuff. So I'm gonna put, put that in there. And they kind of just float at the top. And then I'm gonna add um, a few dropperfuls of algae, which is this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna squeeze that in there. And it is a plant, but it will suck into the eyedropper pretty good. It doesn't pull too much up into there, so I'm gonna just grab some out like this as well and just put that in there. Okay. So now we've got our plants added. So now that our plants are in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add our live critters. So to that, I'm gonna add some pond snails. And I'm actually not gonna pour all that water in there. I'm gonna get rid of the water and just add the critters gently. And then I'm also gonna put in there some of these little guys, little fish. Okay, and hopefully they like their new home. And I'm gonna also decant some of that water off of there, hopefully without sending them with it. We just don't want this to get too full. Ooh. All right, so there you go, guys and gals. Let's see if I can get this little guy with a spoon. Nope, can't get him. Anyway, so that's your aquatic layer. Show it to you up close. They're getting used to their new home. Now, once you've got your aquarium all set up, those guys look pretty happy in there, you can re-add the connector piece to the middle and add your ter terrarium element on the top. Um, you can also take a little bit of water and and water the, the seeds that you've just planted. And with the, the top that we had poked the holes in before, and that's going to get affixed. Oops, that's going to get affixed to the top as well. And you can tape. Um, I wouldn't tape the top in there because you need to be able to take it off again. But um, you can tape just using like clear plastic tape. You can tape these um, parts here just to get a better seal. Um, in about five days to a week, you'll start to see some of your plants growing. And at that time, we will add crickets and pill bugs to that environment once there are some plants in there for them to hide behind and stuff. So here is your final eco column and what it will look like. So why make an eco column? Um, this allows us to observe a couple of things. The first thing is, um, you know, these are ecosystems that we've created. So we have this aquatic ecosystem down here and we can observe the different relationships between the living things and the non-living things in here. So for example, um, water is non-living, but the living things in here depend on the water for a number of reasons. So you might discuss why these organisms need water um, in a way that's different than say how a cow or a human would need water. 
We can also observe the relationships between the living things in here. Like, do those little fish um, interact at all with the snails? Um, do the fish and the snails need the plants that are in there or the algae? So you can observe um, those relationships in one ecosystem. And then up here, we can observe the relationship, uh, especially once the plants start to grow, between the plants and the soil, um, the plants and the amount of sunlight. And then once we introduce our insects in there, our, um, the crickets and the pill bugs, we can observe their relationships between maybe each other, um, between them and the plants, and between them and their non-living environment. So maybe the pill bugs might hide under this rock. So that's a relationship with a non-living thing that's in there. We can also observe um, how two different ecosystems can help each other out. In this case, um, we put the net over the mouth of the um, terrarium bottle here. And as we water, um, you know, the plants up here, that water is gonna seep down through, through our gravel and eventually come out here and go down into our aquatic ecosystem. Now that might introduce things like nutrients or minerals from the soil, from the living things. Um, and of course adds water down into this environment and we can observe um, you know what you know what the outcome of that might be so this is just a nice little way to uh, make a lot of different observations about different ecosystems in one easy place um, and we can watch how they change over time so we're going to watch those plants grow we're going to watch these plants down here grow or change um, and we can observe the changes for our uh, living critters like our fish and our insects as well.